Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Servicing the FXDR and fitting a Two Brothers exhaust system which my mate Derek painted for me because it wasn't black enough when it arrived so he's uh, made that blacker. Probably can't say that now. Um, and um, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm fitting the uh, the Vanson Hines fuel pack fuel pack 3 I think it is so we're fitting that just got the oil draining out at the minute uh, drained the oil out of the um, the primary the motor itself I'm just going to drain the transmission oil out of it now uh, printed off the service sheet for it so uh, I got to get a move on because um, we got a club thing at 5 o'clock tonight so uh, I got to pull my finger out and get on that's all my new oil, Silkaline 2050 and genuine uh, Harley Formula Plus oil for the transmission. Transmission's nearly drained out now, a few little drips, almost ready to go, put the new oil in. Nice and awkward to get to the uh, transmission fill plug. That's fun. Oh, it's actually got a dipsticulator on it. drain into there and we'll take the primary little cover off Oh, I just thought, I'm working on my Milwaukee with my Milwaukee. Exciting stuff. Oh, oh no, that's nasty. Oh, see, that's what I love about Motol. Motol's nice. Okay, we're definitely getting there now. Okay. Set then. Oh dear, I would have thought they'd have made that a little bit easier. Mind you, what can you do? It's not too bad.
All right, see that's uh, the main part of the service done. I've now got there's a few more bits and pieces to do on the service sheet, but I just wanted to get the exhaust changed now. Um, but in typical UK fashion, look, it's now chucking it down the rain. So that's not great because uh, doing club stuff on this bike with no uh, no rear fender, no rear mudguard. You gotta roost the tail of water all down your back. So, oh, here it comes, look. Nice. Yep. Well, that's awesome. That's, that's great. Oh, that'll be fun. Um, but anyway, right, I'm gonna crack on, get this exhaust off, and see what's involved in fitting this. I'm not gonna jinx myself by saying what I'm thinking because it'll all go wrong then, but uh, anyway, let's get into getting this exhaust off. I do love the look of this exhaust, I think I've said this before. I, I really like it, I know a lot of people don't, but even though I like it, it, it can't sound like that. That's not, it's just not the right image. It, it needs to sound like a Harley, you know? And I wanted a two into one for the, um, the performance side of it, even though it's not really loud. I don't think it's going to be loud enough for my liking, but we'll give it a go. It was it was in quite a bit of money. I bought it from the States. Um, turned out I got completely shafted with the import duty, as usual. So I just as well got one in Europe. But anyway, let's get this one off. that Okay, so I've got the two um, nuts on each um, flange. I haven't used the word flange for a while, but anyway, got the two nuts on each flange uh, loosened. I got one of them off actually on this side. Uh, I've now started, I'm gonna take the silencer off separately, I think. Um, I've unplugged this oxygen sensor, that's easy enough because it's uh, just over there. But this one, um, it goes down underneath there somewhere, so I just unscrewed the sensor and left it there. I noticed that with this um, Two Brothers system, you've got little blanking plugs um, for if you, uh, I guess, map out the, um, the sensors. But anyway, I'll put the sensors in for a minute. i got to work out how to get this silencer off because I don't know if you can see but there is a nut just in behind there wish I knew how to make this camera focus anyway all the gear and no idea anyway yeah so there's two allen bolts underneath um, and then that bracket there stays on the frame I'm guessing but yeah I'm not sure how I'm going to get that bolt out, so anyway, let's uh, carry on. Oh yeah, it stopped raining now, look. Right, let's get on with it. They use some weird sizes, dear oh dear. I've got to get me funny numbered Allen keys out. There we go. Three-eighteenths. Three-eighteenths, I mean, what was that? Three eighteens. I thought they were metric. Oh, 
got pain having to use actual Allen keys. I'll have to get some funny numbered Allen sockets. I've got loads of them, but not this size. Right, that's both of those out. Not done anything, see? It's that bolt in behind there. <laughs> I mean, how the hell... How the hell are you supposed to get to that? Wow! That's ridiculous. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to have to have a think a minute. Oh, there she blows. That's that, so I'll take that sensor out. Oh yeah, I'll just show you. See on the back of there? That you don't have to undo that bolt, look. Because it's just a pin that slots in on the bike. Okay, I'm just mounting the headers on now. I've got the front one just loosely in place. Got to take this bracket off. Um, I got no instructions, so I've got to work out this, but I'm guessing it's gonna go something like that work it out as I go uh, running out of time weather's a little bit better right let's crack on ah oh, you can't make it up okay what's happened now is um, there's a O2 sensor adapter in these which is apparently an 18 mil to a 12 mil so that, that down gently so that the O2 sensor because these are smaller ones fit into this um, but check this out of course I've only seen this months ago when it all arrived from America and I bought it second hand um, it had been on a guy's bike in America for um, a very short time I can't remember a couple of weeks or something and uh, he parked it outside and his next door neighbor knocked the bike over so on insurance he got a brand new exhaust so he sold this one so, but anyway, never mind all that. But basically, if you can see that, if this camera will focus, there's no adapter in there. So just as I'm fitting it all, I'm thinking, ah, oh, here we go. But it's all right, because my mate has just been and taken one of these bungs, and he's gonna put it in the lathe, and, um, because that's got the, the, well obviously you can see, that's the thread. I don't know if this camera's focusing. That's the thread to go into the exhaust. So he's going to basically drill that out and re-tap it to the right thread to put the sensor in. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, um, I'm having to ring the president of our club every five minutes. Well, I'm not having to, I'm just letting him know what's going on because I'm still trying to get to where we're all supposed to be going tonight. Um, and look at the state of this. So anyway, um, my mate reckons he's going to be back before his cup of coffee's gone cold. Um, so we'll see what happens in a minute. But I'm going to carry on and fit the rest of it now. And then hopefully uh, put that little adapter in, put it on, put the tuner on and happy days. Let's see how that works out. Well the exhaust is on, it's all fitted. I'm just waiting for my mate to come back with the, uh, the, the adapter that he's making for the O2 sensor. Um, as I'm saying that, I'm wondering what I've done with the O2 sensor because I can't see it. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's a worry. Where's that gone? Oh, he must have taken it with him. Yeah, he's taken it with him, I hope. Right, um, so now I'm not going to put this side panel back on yet just in case I need to get in here a bit easier put that in if, if he's successful with that mission his coffee is just lukewarm still 
So now I'm going to, because uh, he reckoned he was going to get back here before his coffee went cold, but I'm now just going to uh, plug in the... Ah, no, maybe I can't. No. No, maybe I can't plug in the uh, the fuel pack because there's a sensor not plugged in. So I'll wait till he comes back. Right, let's open this and see. Three hundred and fifty quid. They know what to charge for this stuff, mine, don't they? They definitely know what to charge. Right, well my mate's just been and he's uh, machined uh, a new didgeridoo and I've screwed it in, screwed the sensor in, happy days, I've started the bike up, um, awesome, I've plugged it into the diagnostics, I was going to film all this but I've been panicking to try and get somewhere tonight and uh, it's now 7 o'clock, I was meant to be somewhere at 5, um, all gone a little bit sideways. But it's absolutely chucking it, well it's not chucking it down but it's raining still. Anyway, um, right so I've done that and I'm now, I've plugged in my fuel pack. So I'm just about to go through all that shenanigans after I've, uh, yeah I've plugged it in, done the diagnostics on it and that. Um, I've rerouted the, uh, the, we'll call it the OBD socket, the diagnostics plug. Because it normally lives in a little thing down there, but I've just un you just unclip this here, and I've rerouted it under there. So I'm going to leave this on the bike. Some people leave these on the bike once they've set the tune to the bike, and then take it off. You can only use these on the bike that you uh, you you install it on. You can only use it on the ones on the one rather. I guess they do that so that you can, you know, chip loads of people's bikes, tune loads of people's bikes. Otherwise, they wouldn't sell these units. Um, I won't sell as many of them, you know. So yeah, I'm going to keep it on the bike under here somewhere. I'll work that out in a minute. So I'm just going to fru go through the hoo-ha of putting the app on my phone and all that shenanigans. And then I'll start it up and you can hear it. Just, uh, just installing the app at the minute. That's it. So that's the VIN number of my bike. So you click that by the look of it. Pairing. Okay. Done. So now I'm guessing I go for fuel pack FP3, searching, I hope you guys can see this, checking for firmware update, downloading new firmware, install now, never updating, true not, right okay. Right, okay, so it's obviously updating the, uh, the firmware. I don't know if you can see, but that's flashing away there. Okay, so I guess we go map lookup. Searching the database. Oh, two brothers. Downloading your selected map. Okay, so it's backing up my original map. See, I don't really want to change the air filter because I like that standard one. It was one of the things I liked about the bike when I looked at it. Well, everybody has the Vanta 9s or um, Screaming Eagle or whatever sticking out the side and I, I just don't like it. I, I like this because it was different so I, I want to leave it on there. So hopefully that's that'll be fine. Please turn your bike off for 15 seconds. Just 
turn back on. I just programmed my bike with FP3, that was easy. Share, yeah, I'll share that. Facebook. What is it, what's that going to do then? Oh, look at that. Right, what I'm going to do is, um, what I'm going to do now is uh, secure that before I start it up in case it falls off. So I'll start it up in a minute so you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like. Obviously it won't pick it up on the camera as well as real life, but you'll get an idea. Okay, that's the fuel pack um, out of the way. That's where I put it, cable tied it to the side of the subframe there. Hopefully that'll be all right. Try the seat on now. Okay, well that's the exhaust all done, the service is done, uh, the fuel pack is done, so um, I'll start it up. That's, uh, that's what Harley should sound like. That's a lot better. <sighs> wow. That's actually louder than what I expected. Oh, I'm happy with that. Uh, I've been seeing posts of people putting these exhausts on and I've been listening to videos on YouTube. And to be totally honest, I thought I was going to be a bit disappointed. But uh, let me tell you, that's, that's, <laughs> that's loud enough. Yeah. I don't want it any louder than that. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, I haven't ridden it yet. Um, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be riding it. Because it's uh, chucking it down with rain. And this ain't the bike for the rain. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy with that. <laughs> 